Hey friends, this is Dolany TV. You know I haven't brought out the double finger snaps in a while, but it feels good. The Edmonton Oilers a six game winning streak as they continue along chugging up the standings the way they have all season since about that 2-9-1 record. It's been an incredible performance for the Edmonton Oilers who now sit at 19-15-1 on the season, four games above 500, grand total of 39 points in the standings. Could be about uh, somewhere between one to three points behind the Arizona Coyotes by night's end in the standings. But we maintain that third overall situation in the wild card. And now we continue along. McDavid's 10th career five-point game in what is point number 900 night. And Nugent Hopkins, two goals, one assist. One goal, two assists for Zach Hyman, who had a very gutsy hard work and effort. The Oilers' top line is the line that shows up tonight. And oh, by the way, this is the biggest thing for the Edmonton Oilers tonight. You went out there and you worked your tail off to worm, earn a win against the Philadelphia Flyers. Okay, this is the big thing. The Oilers needed, need, need, needed to improve something here against the Flyers tonight. And they killed the penalties. They won the game. And they did not back down from a very stingy Philadelphia Flyers team. It's a big time all around smack them up victory for what is necessary at the end of the day. Obviously this week on Sportsnet, the Oilers, the nightcap on Hockey Night in Canada, the 8 p.m. game against the Ottawa Senators, an all-Canadian matchup on a Saturday. If you're going to Rogers Place, have a good time. But tonight would not have been possible either with one Stuart Skinner who had a pretty important performance. He had a save percentage that again continues tonight to produce results for us, obviously, for Skinner. There's my voice failing. Oh, boy. Here we go. Uh, anyway, 37 shots on goal, two goals against. That means 35 saves for Skinner, who all around tonight was phenomenal. Bouchard, again, another plus two night on the offense for him. How about a 946 save percentage for Stuart Skinner, who continues an absolutely incredible stretch of hockey. And I think for the Oilers, the big part, too, was they bled some chances tonight. But the beautiful part is they either ended up in the back of the net, they either were stopped by Skinner, or they were defended well by the backtracking defender, poking it off sticks, taking the man to the outside. The defensive structure from the Oilers, even when broken down tonight, was still sound enough to keep the Philadelphia Flyers, which are an opportunity-driven offense, off the board. So a huge performance from the Oilers. Penalty kill was immaculate. I think the biggest thing here overall tonight was the Oilers did the job as they had to do night in, night out on this win streak. And then some tonight, a 4-for-4 four four performance on the penalty kill. They scored two odd man advantages, one with the empty net with a call upcoming, one with the power play. And overall, the Oilers really just had a lackluster game here in the hit department. Got out hit 22-14, to 14, but that's what I'm talking. They didn't back down against the Philadelphia Flyers, who did at times come in waves. They attacked heavy in the offensive zone. They turned over pucks high on clearing attempts and kept the Oilers hemmed in. And it was really just a gutted out performance. It's a 5-2 victory. It's not like the Oilers struggled for offense by any means, but it really at times felt like the Oilers were a goal away from this game sinking on them. And they just kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going, and found their way under the uh, guise of a five-point night from Connor McDavid to win 5-2. And realistically, that's not necessarily why the Oilers win 5-2. They just stuck with it for a full 60 minutes. That was as complete of an effort as any other this season from the Edmonton Oilers. And that's the beauty of this one tonight. The Oilers really just went out there and found a way to win a hockey game that, yes, by all means, they should have, but as well against a good, well-coached, strong, hard-playing Philadelphia Flyers team. And the Oilers, again, continue to prove that this back half of the year, since that 2-9-1 record, is going to be something magical. By the way, we're perfect in 2024. And uh, bing, bang, boom, we ride into Saturday against the Senators on a six-game win streak looking for win number seven. Friends, I'm Tyson. This is Stall on TV. Thanks so much for being aboard this evening. Really do appreciate you tuning into the post-game edition. I am up on out of here. Oh, hey, actually, hold on. Before I'm out of here, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Got to keep pushing that 15,000 this month. Let's go. I'm up on gone now. Bye.